Here with North Dakota State men's basketball coach David Richmond, the Bison, uh, well, we're not sure what the schedule looks like over the course of the first couple of weeks of the season. And Dave, I guess that's going to be the name of the game this entire year, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is, Brian. And I, I got a smirk on my face for multiple reasons. One, because I, I don't know sometimes if I'm coming or going. Two, but also some optimism. You know, there's you try to keep hope, you try to keep faith that uh, there's going to be something in front of you really, really soon. Um, you know, we haven't done a whole bunch for eight months from a standpoint of, of what we love to do, and that's compete against somebody else. And, and you feel like those opportunities uh, are getting closer and closer. Sometimes you don't know what those opportunities are or if they're going to get ripped from you at the last minute. Um, but, it, but it makes it really easy. we got a wonderful group of guys. Our staff's been terrific. And, uh, you know, we also know that this is a year, too, where there's going to be a lot of development, too, and we've tried to take advantage of that on a daily basis. We've already seen with the Milwaukee MT falling through. It was four teams and three teams. Now it's completely gone. You're able to piece together this two-day deal at Williams Arena with Loyola and, and Minnesota. And this is might be what it's like, right? You're just going to have to kind of pick things up as other things fall through. And that's going to be part of the game, which I know is difficult, but that's that's it. You're exactly right. And, and I think the thing that comes back to me all the time, Brian, is you're looking for opportunities. Uh, you're, and you're looking for games, and and that's that's the big piece. When the Milwaukee thing fell through, you know, you 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 just can't take no for an answer. You got to look for other opportunities. So that at the end of this, we're mid-major basketball, and there, there's, uh, you know, very rarely do we have that chance for the at-large. You know, we we got to get the automatic bid, and that's to be ready in March and 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 have that opportunity to compete for that conference championship in the tournament. And we need 12 games to be there. And what you find out is you might feel very good about where your program's at, you know, with, with the circumstances of COVID and how, how it's worked its way in and around our program. But we're also at the mercy of these other programs. And, and you see that, you know, Milwaukee has a tier one case and it cancels two games for us too. And, and, and that's the unnerving part because we want to be prepared. We want to have that opportunity to compete for a conference championship in, in March in Sioux Falls. And if we don't have those 12 games, we can't do that. And, and that's where our challenge has become very unique right now in, in getting those games and um, on paper contracted and then actually playing those games. With your guys, what's the message been? Or do you guys talk about this stuff very much? Or do you just kind of let it go? so to speak. It, you know, it's hard not to, Brian, and, and I've gotten to a rhythm and routine the last couple of years of just shutting social media down and some of those things during the season and focusing on us. And, and But these are 18 to 22, 23-year-old kids. They're on social media. That's how a lot of their lives are lived, good, bad, or indifferent. And uh, it's so much of it, and I, I don't mean to rag on social media, but so much of that's negative. And, and it's not just negative stuff that's put out there it's just negative just you're just reading negative facts and even though they're facts they're negative and, and the guys are hearing about this league canceling or this team shutting down or this team's not starting up and and it's hard for them not to like how is that not going to affect us coach a little bit too and uh, I think the biggest message is for me that I you know put into our guys' head day in and day out is control the things that we can control uh, we got to eliminate excuses and the one thing we can control is our attitude, our energy, and our effort today, and that's an opportunity to get better, uh, whether that's a practice, shoot around, uh, hopefully games in the, in the, rear, in the very near future. Um, but there are it's unique from a standpoint. There are so many things out of your control right now that it's hard to just latch on to something that, you know, that's right in front of you. With this group coming in, an opportunity to play everybody because it's, I don't want to say a free year, but it is a free year because you don't know exactly how many games you're going to get in. Everybody has a chance to play and still get that extra year of eligibility back. Do you anticipate playing a lot of guys because of that early here? Absolutely, and just for a lot of reasons. You know, you never know how COVID's going to impact us as we go forward. We might, might be, We might look different you know, in a month than we do today. And so I think it's vital. I think it's vital. Some, uh, you've seen our successes in Sioux Falls. We've played multiple guys, nine, ten. Sometimes even early two seasons ago, we played 11 guys. Um, and, and I do think this year we're going we're gonna to count on, you know, I can just come to mind three freshmen right now uh, that are probably going to play, you know, 12 to 15 plus minutes a game. Uh, their, their bodies can't handle that too. For for they can't handle 25, 30 minutes, and so uh, it, it's going to be vital. It's going to be fun. Um, I, I said it earlier in our conversation here. This is a development year, but it's of, of all the things that's negative about 2020 and 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 what's going on with the season right now. That's a silver lining right now is we have the ultimate redshirt year to uh, develop some guys, to bring some guys along still at our pace, not speed up that pace but yet still compete for championships at the end, and that's the silver lining in all of this. 
All right, Dave. We appreciate it. Good luck with whatever the schedule looks like, and we'll see you down the road. I appreciate it, Brian. We're excited. <laughs>